my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Lynch and McGuanago, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Burger Smokehouse, Delco, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commick Law Firms, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Outdoors. Holy moly. Hey, good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. I'll tell you what, this morning we are up extra early and something that always interests me, we're fishing with our good friend Brian Sedley and Mitch Moline. Hey Mitch, how you doing? Hey, I'll tell you what, we're gonna be doing some salmon fishing today and we're actually gonna start off the day and maybe even end the day jigging out here. Brian, tell everybody what we're gonna be actually doing here today. You got me hooked on this last year and I am super pumped up about this. Okay, what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna be uh, jigging near shore and uh, we're gonna be jigging mostly for uh, coho salmon. Okay. There's a few Chinook starting to show up right now in the gaps and stuff, so we're gonna jig with plastics, uh, some, some Kalen's plastics, okay. and uh, some cast masters and uh, Cleo's, a variety of different stuff. But plastics, Whatever it takes to get them to go Yeah, huh? but plastics been by far the best so far, so should be a decent day of fishing. It's been a pretty consistent bite. Some days have been better than others and stuff. But, Which is you know, typical fishing. Yeah, right. that's fishing in general. So, you know, hopefully the fish are in the bait stacked in here. We'll get a bunch of fish today. Hey, and we maybe we can uh, get some cohos to take home and Mitch can uh, give them to his sister, right? If your right. sister loves salmon. And I'll tell you what, after last year, again, coming out here and catching these fish, not trolling, well, I'll tell you, what a ball. Even trolling, it's a, a ball out here. And you know, what is going on with the coho? It's the last two years, Brian, the coho fishing has been outstanding. Well, it, it seems like, you know, in my opinion, it seems like on uh, the West Shore of Lake Michigan here, between, I'd say, like Racine and Port Washington, there's been like a really large concentration of eel wives which is a bait fish. Right. And it uh, seems like the fish are, you know, a lot closer near shore. So the the, the, fi the, 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 the fishing has been incredible. I mean, it's it's amazing all the bait in here. Just about every coho you're getting is, you know, coughing up bait. Just gorgeous. You're getting them. Yeah, so there's like a ton of bait around. So well, that's excellent. why the fish are here, so. Excellent, I'm charged up and I'll tell you what, We'll be fishing in about five, 10 minutes. We don't have to go out that far, which yeah. is another nice thing. Hey, stay tuned. Let's see what happens today down here on Lake Michigan, doing a little jigging for some coho and Chinooks, right? Yes, Chinook salmon, yep. Stay tuned. was amazing how I just happened to look back there and that fish just flew straight up out of the water. Good job. Good job. Nice job. Oh, oh, oh. I can't I can't believe it Mitch. Got it Brian. Hey, buddy. Yep, All right yep. Mitch. Got yeah, here's the net for you. There oh there he is too. Nice fish. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Mitch, you had him. There Mitch, you got him. Oh, what is the deal with All this right. guy? 
Hey, he's got the hot hand today. He you know, does. I I'll tell you. Bait and he's been sticking them left and right on that blade bait. Nice job. I'll good tell eater. You what. Good eater. Now, is that a typical coho size? Yeah, this is typical, Larry. This is probably in that three pound range. Okay, good deal. I got ice ready to roll. Hey, Mitch, your sister's gonna be yeah, eating good Larry, again. Yeah, Larry, pick it. Got another one for you. Good job, buddy. Creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fishability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety than the V208 from Warrior Boats. Dalco, far and away the nation's leading boat cover manufacturer, precisely fit for a large variety of OEM makes and models. Dalco premium covers are the boating equivalent of a hand-tailored suit. Not only are Dalco covers the best fitting and best quality, they include unique features like our polis cover lift system and ratchet attachment system, making them the easiest and fastest covers to install and remove. Visit DalcoMarine.com for more information on how to order. Use promo code LARRY10 to receive a 10% discount today. Burger Smokehouse, your handcrafted smoked meat headquarters since 1952. Our dry rub recipes, aging process, and natural hardwood smoking come together to create bold, satisfying flavors that we are proud to stand behind. Whether it's summer sausage, hearty sportsman's cut bacon, or dry rub barbecue ribs, we are your source for top-notch hardwood smoked meats that you'll be proud to serve family and friends. Visit us online at smokehouse.com or look us up at your local grocery store. Good job, Mitch. Right there. Keep whining. You got him. Oh, nice. That's a cool hole. Nice job. Holy cats, Mitch. That is a battle. This is the first time you've ever outfished me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Whoa. Mitch, I think if you get this fish in, you should take a break. Nice yeah. job. Yeah. Woo! Be a little Mitchell. Slack, slack no, is that a coal or a yep. chinook? That's a coal. That's a big coal. Holy cat! I think Mitch is gonna have a tear in his eyes because well, his hand hurts, his wrist hurts. They go so fast. Right, right? they do. The Boy, I'll tell you, they're from one end of the boat to the other. Now that's a pretty decent sized coal hole, right? Yep. Yeah, that's uh. This has kind of like been the average in that uh, three to five pound range. This one's probably in that four or five. If that was mine, it'd be six or eight. Man, yeah. You just don't give up. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's still in. Holy man! Woo! -hoo -hoo! I love this stuff. Man, I'll tell you what, Settler. When you asked me about coming out and doing a show out here, I did not think twice about it because I'll tell you, after the fun, oh, look at the size of that fish. Ooh, Ooh, nice one, nice one. Look at that, that's a really nice one. Would you? Whoa! That, I think that's a big rainbow. That's a huge coal. Look at the size of that hole. Oh. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Look at the size of that. Oh my gosh! Oh. This is crazy. This is crazy, Brian. Oh! Oh my gosh! That's either a big rainbow or a huge coal. Oh my! Look gosh. at the size of that hole. Oh! oh. I'm telling you. I love this salmon look fishing. At oh, 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 look at the size of that oh. thing. It's a huge rainbow, I think, Larry. Is it really? Oh my gosh, Brian. Or, or is it a coal? I can't get him, tell. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, get him. oh yeah! Woo! Yeah. Love that. Oh God, look look at the size of that That's fish. a huge coal. Wow, wow, that's, a that's, that's a coal hole? Oh, hang hole. on, I gotta get us away from the rocks here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Woo! Look at that size man. Nice all job, right. all right. I love it. 
Look at the size of that coal hole, Larry Smith. That is absolutely oh, is a that dandy. A slab hole? Wow. That is absolutely, that was a ball. 11 pounds. Wow. Over 11 pounds, Larry. That that's, a, absolutely. that's a really nice coal hole. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. That is nice. Get my bait out of the net so I can get fishing again. I want another one. Wow, Look I'll tell you top. what, Mitch. Yep, yeah, there you go, there you go. Wow! Look at that fish go! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Mitch, you are on fire today! This is your first time jigging for salmon, and I'll tell you what, this is your third one today. Nice yeah, job! There you go. Good job. No, that's not quite as big as my coal hole. Which, which is totally understanding, Mitch. But yeah, yeah it's like a third, a, a third of the size of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Holy cats, Brian! I'll grab the net for you. I'll tell you what. You said the water was a lot colder on the inside right here, and the bait is stacked like cordwood. And I'll tell you what, man, oh man, this kind of nice. Is we're in here all by ourselves. Whoa! Whoa! That's a nice fish. Now you were up really high with that, huh? Yeah, well, you know, I noticed the seagulls and, uh, you know, uh, for one, they're dive bombing. Yup. Oh, nice uh, fish. Going after the AOIs. Yup. So I started twitching up high as soon as I did that. Bam. Wow, that is so cool. Oh, <laughs> I love it. That's a nice fish. No, what kind is that, Brian? That looks like a brown trout. A brown trout, huh? Yeah, nice one, too. Chunker. Oop. Got a nice job. What? Ugh. What? I wish it was double dipping. Mmm. Yeah, nice looking brown. Look at our marks on that. Nice looking. Interesting. Thing. We just came. We just came in here too, and you said, like you said, you saw all the seagulls diving for all the bait fish, and man, that was like your third cast. Yep. Yep. Nice awesome job. Fish. Let's get her back in. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. He ate the whole thing. What? What are you talking about? Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McGuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre-owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. Introducing the next generation of Sonar. Sonar Foam by Vexlar, the world's first smart device sonar. Download the free app. Try the demo feature and see why Sonar Foam will rival the performance of Sonar systems costing hundreds more. The Sonar Phone does not require cell phone coverage. You create your own Wi-Fi hotspot and can share with your friends. Download the free app today. And for a limited time, with any purchase of a Sonar Phone, you get a free smartphone armband. That's the Sonar Phone by Vexlar. I'll tell you what, Brian, why are these fish in here? I mean, the bait fish are stacked like cordwood. What kind of situation presents itself why this is set up like it is? Well, for one, Larry, you know, this time of year, the uh, this is when the alewives start spawning. Yep. So when they come in to spawn, they kind of congregate like we're seeing on the graph right now. Yeah. And uh, not only that, you know, you have to have the colder water temperature. You know, we have 
It's in the 60s, uh, low 60s on the surface, but down on the bottom, it's in the mid 50s right now. So. Okay. Does it help having all these south and southwest winds? Yeah, with the uh, winds with west in it, push the warm water out and kind of rotates the water and the cooler water replaces that warmer water. Okay. So when you have that, then the salmon kind of moving closer to the shore like they are today. So really the key is to make sure you watch that water temperature. Yeah, water temperature is key with this fishing. You know, it's like, uh, you know, with these west winds, you know, it's like this next bunch of days, I mean, the fish are just gonna be stacked in here. But if it goes back to northeast for a couple days, then it'll push that, that uh, warmer water in and then the fish will push a little ways out. Tell oh, you what, holy moly, where's the nut? Oh, Mitch, you're in my way. Holy oh, cat. he's all wrapped up. Got the net, Larry? Yep, Brian. Yep. Oh, I'll tell you what, where is he? Oh, 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 there oh he my goes. gosh. I cannot believe how fast them fish are. Yeah, I know, that's what I was telling you. This you just said you just missed one. Oh, oh. holy cat. What kind is that one? That's a cool Oh, that's a good one. Well, they just spin right around. Yep. They wrap that yep. line right on their bodies. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't come out. There he goes. Yeah. Wow, it's a nice fish, yeah, too. Yeah, cool. Believe it or not, I was just eating a crack. I was just eating some crackers. <laughs> you don't say. You know my kids. Something I love about huh? this fishing, yeah. Hey, Brian, I'll tell you what. We got away from everybody. You figured out where the fish were. You know, and that's the key to fishing right there. You know, we caught a, a, a fair amount of fish in the gap. Then you said, hey, that water's been, that wind has been out of the west for what, four or five days now and all that cold water is right up against the shoreline here. Well, I'll tell you, hold that well, fish yeah, up. you know, not only that too, Larry, but you know, it's like you can have cold water, no fish, but there's so much bait in here right now. Right, and that's what's holding these fish in here. Nice deal. And you had just missed one, what, two minutes before that? Uh, about a minute, yeah. I can't believe how easy the scales come off on yeah, them things. Yeah, the scales come off on these really easy. Now that we're definitely keeping the eat. Yep, yep, yeah, we'll definitely Good keep deal. the salmon. What's to say hi to you? <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, if I had my play knife, We'd have some sushi. Oh yeah, there you go. Right. We got crackers. I can't believe these fish. These, whoa, 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 whoa. I cannot get over these fish. How fast they are, Brian. Whoa. <laughs> got him? Wow. Yeah, I got him. Nice. Nice Ooh, job. I'll tell you what, what I did. It, it's so important, Brian. You know, being a walleye jigger, just to get that jigging technique down just right. I was watching you like a hawk and trying to mimic what you were doing. And I'll tell you, it worked. Because I'll tell you what, I've been struggling a little bit. Of course, I got the biggest fish of the day so far. But definitely you and Mitch got the number so far. And yeah, you know, I'll tell you that, uh, I love that darn jerk minnow. It, that thing yep. catches walleyes, bass. That jerk minnow junior, that's one of my favorites. Hold that fish up right there. Hey, hey. Ho, ho, salmon. Gotta love it. You know what? I love it when you figure things out. That's my yep. favorite yep. thing is that, you know what? They're always biting somewhere, somehow. And the key is to figure it out. And we definitely, you have definitely got it figured out. I'm going back to fishing. Hey, Shotgun Steve Schaefer in the kitchen with Brittany Hoffman. We are cooking blackened catfish and walleye. And over angel hair pasta with some of Larry's um, Parmesan butter seasoning. We got to rock, rock and roll that today. Brittany, how'd you get on the show? Uh, I actually won a, won this experience at um, WIFA banquet, Wisconsin Interscholastic Fishing Association. So I appreciate the opportunity to and, be here. And you came down from Colfax, three I did. and a half hour ride. Yep. And you wanted to cook with the Nightmare Schaefer. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I have a cast iron pan from Lodge Cooking going on. We had it hot, I had to take it off. It was smoking a little bit. We didn't get started right away. But I have ready catfish, sat on the shore in Jefferson. A bunch of people gave it to me since uh, Larry doesn't give me anything. I had to borrow it from some people. So I have the seasoning already in there, but I put um, paprika, garlic, cayenne, white pepper, black pepper, and some dried thyme. What we're gonna do is take and 
Sprinkle some over the top of it. You good enough to sprinkle it over the top? Which one you want to do first, walleye or catfish? Uh, let's go with catfish. All That's right. my favorite. I'm good with that. So I just take my fingers and sprinkle a little over the top. This stuff goes a long ways, people. And you want it this hot. You want to get it hot, and the edges are getting cooked like that. It already smells good, too. I know. I can. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are missing out with that camera being in the way. It smells really good. Now I'm going to dump the wall in because it doesn't take as long. I think we can almost flip that cat. Yep, it's loose. Can right. you flip it? You want me to hold on to it? I'm going to give it a go here. You're good to go. Nice. Look at that crust on it. That's what you want to see, Already, folks. Already, yes. See that? Delicious. That is good. Put them right between them. Ooh. That's what you want right there. That's what you want. Looking good in the Keep hood. Cat on one side and yeah, oh yeah, I gotta separate them. They're from a different family. Watch your harm. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know which one I like better. They both taste so good. Hit the wall, yeah. It pays to sit on the shoreline and beg people for fish, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you can just go catch some. <laughs> oh, yeah, go catch some. <laughs> I could eat this all day. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass, too, and won't bend or dull, and reflects fish-attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you make less casts, because the fish come to you. Rip it or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout, and experience multi-species action with just one bait. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply. We want to be your outdoor supplier. Another fish? Yep. Ooh, a nice cool hole. Oh my god. Right. Mitch, you got the net for him? I'm caught up in my bait. Nice job. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, that Kalen's jerk minnow junior is definitely the ticket for these yeah. fish today. And it is amazing the amount of fish that we are catching. That's a nice fish right there. Nice job. It's like you you pause that bait and that fish just absolutely yeah. crushed it. Yeah, totally. That's so fun. You gotta love Good that. Job, this is like the funnest, I mean one of the funnest times I've ever had fishing, man. This is so great. So what's your excuse? <laughs> well, I tell you, I'm just gonna tell you something. I might have said it once or maybe twice before on our show. Sometimes you're the bug and sometimes you're the windshield. Mitch, he hardly ever fishes at all. Why is he catching so many? Brian, I can understand. Unbelievable fishing, especially, you know, last year we were out here trolling 
with uh, some of our good friends over at Port, and uh, we had a great day trolling. That was fun, but this is absolutely dynamite fishing. And once we got on them, it was fish after fish after fish. Hey, something I want to talk about with you is that we need to tell the people that are watching our show, you need to check out our social media stuff on Facebook because there's so many different techniques and tips that we show during the week and all sorts of interesting things. So make sure you guys like us on Facebook and check us out. You'll love the stuff that we have every week for you besides our show. Hey, nice job, buddy. Yep. Your turn, your turn. My turn. I'll tell you what, our good friends over at Delco are really spoiling me. This new fishity bimity top, excellent. Took me about maybe about a minute to put it up on the way in. We saw this rain coming. And the other thing you want to really check out are the new fenders, boat fenders they have right there. Quick attachments on and off. Man, sweet, sweet stuff, I'll tell you that. I love that fishity top. Keeps you dry. All right, boys, do so you know what time it is now? Time to clean some fish. Fish team cleaning time. Hey, I'll tell you what, Brian, that was some absolutely fantastic coho fishing. I've never experienced catching fish that fast, jigging on this lake, and I'm, I'm addicted. You know that, we started this last year, and it was just a great time, and Mitch, thank you. You know what, that's the way to go, Brian, thank you. Yep. You know, hey, and if people want to get a hold of you, Brian, and come out and experience this great jigging for trout and salmon, tell everybody how they can do it. Okay, you can get a hold of me on, at the website at witrout.com, otherwise at 414-559-9238. That's absolutely awesome, and hey, thanks for watching our show, and make sure that you guys join us on Facebook and just remember, what a great day to be alive. What the hell? I got the fish still. I had one. Or he had me. Something. Hey, Mitch, would you like a sandwich? Needs a little mustard, though, don't you think? Mimic what you're doing, that's a nice fish too. Woo! Like a brownie. Another brown, huh? That'll be two brownies for you today. Two brownies, is that some kind of food reference? Ah, uh, it sounds good to me. You know, the nice part about our show, we really get a variety of food to eat. Which yeah, is kind of nice. You left a scale on the bun for me. A scale? Yeah. Oh, that was from my knife. <laughs> <laughs> Did you eat a canary this morning? 